Hey, this is Maria Jones at Coin Telegraph channel with a rundown of the hottest news stories from across cryptocurrency this week. Analysts are more confident than ever that Bitcoin will stay above 5,700 US dollars today as prices continue surging towards new highs of 6,000 US dollars. Technical data from multiple sources indicated no slowdown in Bitcoin's charge to retake the historic price level, having increased by more than 1,000 since Monday. While BTC is no stranger to correction, the short-term predictions by well-known investors are flowing. On Wednesday, Mike Novogratz told CNBC he would not find it surprising if one Bitcoin will cost 10,000 by April 2018. Recent reports indicate that blockchain technology will be able to create safer and cheaper medication. Medication is complex to source and often supply chains can be mixed up, opening the door to counterfeiting. This results in huge amount of unsafe medication coming to market. Without appropriate levels of supply chain transparency, users are put at risk. In the afternoon. Orange in the evening. Just like that. One, two, three, four. The likes of Pfizer, BlockRx, and Denantech have sought to solve these issues through the creation of blockchain systems. Systems that track the supply chain of medication from pre manufacture all the way to the patient's hands. Such a system would provide a meaningful way to protect consumers and create rapid transparency and compliance for state and federal regulation. Above that, the simplicity of auditing and clear controls means far less expense on protecting consumers. This will lead to lowering consumer prices and increased confidence regarding purity and source. Yutsakano, CEO of Japan's largest cryptocurrency exchange Bitflyer, has stated that conservative Japanese investors have started to go all in on Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. He explained that the vast majority of investors in Japan, South Korea, and China are extremely conservative in their investments and skeptical towards allocating capital to new asset classes. However, over the last three years, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies have become mainstream assets in the Japanese market. Legalization of Bitcoin as a digital currency and the authorization of cryptocurrency exchanges helped trigger this change. Consequently, Japan has evolved into the largest Bitcoin exchange market in the world. Currently, the Japanese market accounts for 61.23% of global Bitcoin traders, more than twice the trading volume of the US market. The only fear that Bitcoin users can have is that governments will act on their own self-involved fear. This is according to cybersecurity expert John McAfee. He believes that Bitcoin's only trouble is government trying to stop it. Cryptocurrencies were created to solve the problems that plague banking, and they are looking to cut out the middleman, banks, and government regulators. The lack of a central exchange put the governments in a bind. They make their income by taxing the movement of money. Just imagine if everyone uses Bitcoin, the government doesn't know what your income is, and more than that, they can't tax it. Eventually, this will touch every nation stat, but honestly, it doesn't matter what they do. There is no law that will stop Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, because technically, you just can't, it's impossible. The Juggernaut, bitch! Despite this hugely bullish sentiment, that does not mean they can go about and regulate it. McAfee admits the space needs regulation, particularly when it comes to the ICOs. Wall Street's complicated relationship with the blockchain technology continues. Large brands have set their position both for and against the new technology, with some banks like Bank of America already pursuing patents. One of the major struggles these financial platforms are having with the technology is around the issue of privacy. 
Traders need to keep their position a secret in order to keep competitors out of the loop. Blockchain technology provides immutability, but it doesn't provide complete security and anonymity. Key factors for enterprise-level financial adoption. However, zero-knowledge proves that were recently enabled on Ethereum following the network's Byzantium upgrade represent a new way to have both anonymity and immutability on a single chain. So, will it or not? The latest to join the League of Bitcoin haters is Kenneth Rodoff, a professor of economics at Harvard University. In the recent blog post on Guardian, he wrote, Is the cryptocurrency Bitcoin is the biggest bubble in the world today? Or a great investment but on the cutting edge of new age financial technology? My best guess is that in the long run the technology will thrive, but the price of Bitcoin will collapse. He acknowledges that certain governments like Japan have taken the lead in regulating and accepting virtual currencies. But he attributes this to a desire to become the global leader in fintech. He foresees most governments ignoring Bitcoin when used for small anonymous transactions but will act against it once Bitcoin becomes more widely used. For the very latest news and events from the crypto scene, check out Cointelegraph.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you would like to ask me a question or share your story with us, just leave a comment right here and see you next week.